the more you know, the more options you have. Learning the basics of flattering portrait lighting helps you to instruct your subjects to look their best and separates you from those who don't know how. I've created a series of images with the various lighting patterns and I'll describe how each was done. Keep in mind that there are other names uh, given to some of these patterns, but these are the ones that I choose to use. In these next lighting pattern photos, I'm showing the main light, so I'm going to go with a pretty weak fill light. The amount of fill light can vary depending on what we want, but that doesn't change the light pattern. I used a large softbox behind the camera so that all the light comes from the axis of the camera to the subject. I placed a light with a small dish reflector low and pointed up at the subject. A small light above the subject makes a butterfly shaped shadow under the nose. Now on this one there's no catch light but there can be one depending on the person's face. With a small nose or deep set eyes you won't get a catch light. In those cases I simply add one in Photoshop. I kept the main light in the same place as in the butterfly example, but I added a large reflector underneath the subject. The main light is positioned so that there's a loop shadow from the nose going downward and toward the cheek, but not touching that cheek shadow. When we move the light farther to the side so the shadow does touch that cheek shadow, it's called Rembrandt. It was given that name because the artist used that pattern often. Moving that light farther to the side, we get a light and shadow that splits the face in half. I move the light even farther to the side, even a bit behind the face, and added a duplicate light on the opposite side. With a face that's aimed away from the camera, lighting the near side is called broad light. That's because it's the broadest part of the face that we see. Conversely, if we place the light such that it lights the part of the face that we see less of, or the short side, it's called short light. Profile lighting is described as lighting the front profile of a face when the person is in side profile to the camera. It isn't really a lighting pattern though because it could be loop light, Rembrandt, or rim light. It just means that the front of the side profile of the person is lit. Another form of profile lighting that we call rim light for just a sliver light along the outline of the person. Now this might be a little confusing though because it's still rim lighting no matter what direction the person is facing. It could be light that accents the person's hair or body from behind as they face the camera. So it's not just a facial lighting pattern. A silhouette means showing the outline of the person with the background being very light and the subject being very dark. Whether we get there with sunlight, soft light, subtractive lighting, or additive lighting, as with these soft boxes, short light and broad light are the two most prevalent patterns we have to know how to achieve. 